welcome to today's botany lesson. We are going to look at the parts of the flower and their various functions. Now, the part of the flower that does the calling, the calling out, is called the corolla. The corolla. Corolla. Corolla is from the Latin word crown. It means crown. When the corolla is in the flower bird, like we have here, that is, it is protected by the calyx. This is the calyx. So the calyx actually protects the corolla as when it's at the stage of a flower bird. Can we see here? Okay. So as I said, it's the corolla that does the calling out. And this is the calyx that protects the corolla when it's in, in, the, in the stage of a flower bird, like we see here. Now, each of these, each of these, the corolla, like here, brought up here, each of them is called a petal. A petal. You see the petal? Okay. And all of them together, we have them here called corolla. In the same way, the calyx, all, all of these together, we call the calyx. But then each of them, like we have here, is a sepal. So this is sepal, this is sepal, this is sepal. And all of them together we call calyx. Now this part of the flower, this, can see this? I've removed one out of it. You can see this one here. We call that the stamen. The stamen is from the Latin word thread. You can see that it actually looks like a thread. But now, look at this. From here, all the way down, we call that pistol. And that is from the Latin word pistillum, meaning pestle. Now, once again, have the stamen and see them here the stamen and from here call that the pistol and then these are the petals all the petals together we call Corolla and then the calyx, each of them is called the sepal, and of course, you know their functions now. So, you go out and look at various flowers and the various parts of those flowers and figure out their various functions. 
Success Turn. Off you go.